I was gonna go to bed, but instead of being mean, I chose to be nice and bring you part 17 of Let's Play Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. My name is Manx, and uh, it's been a while since we did an Olaf mission, don't you guys think? Prevent the foe from firing the giant missile, and we're facing Black again. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Commander Olaf, look at that. It's, it's... What? What? What in Winter's name is that? It looks like a missile silo. A really big missile silo. I hope we can just walk up and push that monster over. Hit it with everything we got. No black hole base is a match for our might. You see the size of that thing? I'm worried about you, Chief. What? What should we do? Well, son, you and I are on intel duty. We gotta find a way to beat that thing. Oh yeah, mission 17, T minus 15. Now that's all us here, your days are numbered. I'm here to help. Hmm, it's Andy of Orange Star. What are you doing here? I just told you, I'm here to help. Blue Moon needs no aid, we have the power to. That's a giant missile silo. When 15 days have passed, it'll launch a missile. That missile would take out half of Blue Moon's troops in one blow. Madness! That's what Nell said anyway. That... That's... We must stop that missile. I'll help you out. Let's stop that missile together. If you're going to insist, you can help. <laughs> oh, whoever thought we'd see Olaf and Andy working together. Alright. So... This is, uh, this is sort of a tricky mission, if I remember correctly. Flak has a lot of stuff. This is uh, going to be a pre-deployed mission, although you can actually camp this airport and start producing some air units. Actually, he, Flak does have a base, but he has hardly any income at all. Actually, he has, he has 11,000 incomes. He's going to be producing some units, but mostly this is a pre-deployed mission. So, uh, the trick here is to try to cap this base. Now, Olaf is re really excels on this map because of his Winter Furies. He's going to be able to deal a lot of damage to these units. You should cap some of these cities, uh, but you shouldn't really bother too much with it because uh, you kind of need to move quickly. Um, but what you should be careful about is uh, you kind of want your infantry to be healthy, so you should try to avoid this recon as much as possible. Uh, don't let it damage your infantry, because you need you need your infantry to be healthy uh, so that uh, they can go and cap the um, the buildings in the middle. You basically need to, like, you haven't really found out yet, but you could always just click the terms, <laughs> and Anel will kind of tell you. Um, but they will tell you in a few days. Uh, you need to cap these eight cities around the city, which sounds really difficult, and it kind of is a little bit tricky, but once you get off a few Winter Furies uh, from Olaf's side, it... It will actually go pretty well, because you'll damage Flak's troops. So what you want to do is you want to cap this airport, and uh, you want to make sure that... You want to use this rockets right here to blast up this seam, so you can reinforce with these anti-air. Um, Flak's going to send a lot of air units your way. You want to make sure that you deal with them. And I actually like to use this missile right here to help out a little bit. But we're moving on planes, so we're moving really slowly, which is a problem. Want to be really careful about flax rockets, and of course you don't want him to get the first strike on your normal tanks. So you want to shield them with your medium tanks. There you go. And of course we have Andy's troops who are helping out a little bit now. What you can actually do, and normally I like to send Andy over here, but what I actually like to do is I like to um, help out a little bit uh, with a bomber and actually help Olaf get through this pipe scene. Uh, but the bomber is not in range though, so we have to send a battlecopter first. There we go, so now that only has 74 hit points remaining. Now, uh, he does have some, uh, Flak does have some ground troops here, but as long as you stay out of the range of the missile, you should be fine. Now there's another missile to the south there, naturally, so you don't want that to, to shoot down your guys. And I'm just killing his APC just because. It's like the only unit I can attack now that's not within range of his missile, so... And of course, it's very important that you don't lose Andy's APC. Very important, in fact, because um, you need it to resupply stuff. So this is basically the safe zone. 
And I'm gonna send one bomber here to help open the pipe seam. I'm actually gonna position my NPC right here. The spider is, uh, I'm not sure if Black has any air units. He actually has some. So I'm actually gonna send this spider to help out, um, help out with, um, with the... I'm basically gonna try to open this seam, and this seam I'm gonna send the fighter south to try and intercept Black's bombers. But I'm actually really glad it's Black we're facing and not Adder. Adder would have been much worse, actually. And yeah, that's right, he, the computer actually likes to attack battlecopters with Neo Tanks because it is actually a fair trade. Especially considering Flak can deal a massive blow to them, with, you know, since he's Flak. But it's fine, because Andy has hyper upgrades, so he can repair his stuff, which is cool. Alright, um... Olaf, can you hear me? I found a way to put the kibosh on that giant missile base. What was that? Are you sure? Uh, there are eight properties surrounding the launch tower. They're supplying power for the base to launch the missile. If you can capture those eight properties, the tower should be helpless. It's up to you, Frosty. I'll take care of this. Easier said than done. This accursed pipe is preventing my units from advancing. If you blow up that seam, you can pass through the hole in, one in the pipe. That's what Nell told me. Oh, yes, uh, of course. I already knew that. I thank you all the same, though. <laughs> oh, Olaf. Okay, so I actually do believe uh, tanks have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, I can't reach the rocket yet. Um, but I need to use my medium tanks to kill these things. Ah, I'm actually I'm actually one shot. <laughs> glitchy glitch. I actually one I'm one shotting anti air. That's actually kind of cool. Um, I kind of don't want to waste uh, waste uh, my turn on the rocket moving it forward or actually attacking it. I mean, uh, I want to move it forward every turn, so it's actually kind of important. I feel I should be able to clean up these tanks if I use both my tanks and my medium tanks. I open up with my medium tanks and then I <laughs> glitchy glitch. And then I uh, follow it up with my regular tanks. That's usually that that usually works. There we go. And um, I can put my regular tank here. Put my missile down here. Now, I did block up my own pipe, but it doesn't matter because I wouldn't have been able to kill it anyway. And again, I don't. I'm not really gonna. Mm, I kind of want to kill this recon, but it's kind of trapped, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to move my regular stuff down here now. And uh, not really gonna bother capturing these cities. It's not really gonna give me anything. As long as I have my APCs, I should be able to transport the infantry. There we go. And uh, he's sending battlecopters at me. I just gotta make sure to keep my. Um, I gotta make sure to keep my uh, anti-air uh, away from the range of the bombers. There we go. I know, and they should be able to blow a hole in that uh, seam. Not with this, uh, not with this transport copter, though. <laughs> Sorry, with the uh, battle copter. And wow, it is glitching out more and more. There we go. Now I can send the fighter down here, and we can start working on our. First of all, I definitely want to take out this missile. Down it goes. Almost down, at least. I might just finish it off here. I think actually that's, that's kind of important, because I'm going to use my bomber against the Neo tank anyway. Um, yeah, I can actually attack it. It's no problem. Bombers wreck Neo tanks, so. Wonderful. Uh, and then we should kind of try to take care of this infantry right here. Gotta be a little bit careful, because Flax is probably gonna use his super power next turn, and that could be nasty, as he might get some super flak blows against me. 
let's see. Yeah, he definitely has a superpower. So, gotta be a little bit careful. Gotta move my APC away so he doesn't accidentally kill it. Because uh, that's cool. That would be terrible. I mean, yeah, well, Andy repairs hit points, but he doesn't really replenish fuel, so... If the APC goes down, that's gonna be a little bit troublesome. So here comes his superpower, but most of his units aren't within ra my range, so... It's actually a very poorly used superpower. Because he's not gonna be able to do any much damage with it. If I'd used that superpower where, uh, with all those units in my range, that would have been problematic. Very problematic. Here comes his bombers. Those are mostly gonna get taken down. This could actually be a little bit nasty if he gets a super flag blow. A little bit of a super flag blow. Not much now. This, however, could be terrible. Uh, no, we're good. But I can't wait to use my Winter Fury. That's going to do a lot of damage to him. Oh, balls. He's going to get a Super Flag Blow on me, isn't he? Nope. That was a poor, poor Super Flag Blow. I, it's a, weird, a little bit weird that he, that he chose to attack me right there. Again, I have this theory that the computer knows when it's going to get a Super Flag Blow. But then he goes to this stuff like that. I don't really know. Weird. Very weird. Anyway, uh, we need to get some power here. Now, I am very tempted to move my forces forward here. Um, it's a little bit nasty, though. Hmm. I mean, I have to take down these rockets. The problem is he has more rockets behind here. Which is nasty, to say the least. Um, it's very tricky to know what to do right now. But I think the first thing I need to do is I need to take down his bombers. Uh, it's actually kind of important. So, let's do that right away. I got an airport now, and I don't have much income though. I have around 3,000 incomes. It's gonna take a while before I'm gonna be able to try to uh, produce anything out of those air airports, but we'll see. But I should take down these bombers. That's actually kind of important. This might actually give me the superpower I need. Now I got my blizzard. Uh, he's placed this position as bombers so that I can't get to the one behind. That's actually kind of annoying. But uh, I'll just do the best I can. I should have positioned by anti-air in uh, terrain, actually. But I'm mostly gonna, probably gonna lose my rocket now. So the question is, do I want to attack now? I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, let's see, the medium tank is going to five. One, two, three, four, five. If I do take out this anti-air, then I'm gonna be able to blast his rockets. I might just do that right away. I'm guessing I, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm, on, I'm, on I'm on a timer here, so I can't really afford to sit back and turtle. And the more damage I can do to his rockets, the better. Though they are going to get resupplied, which is a problem. And I'm, I'm actually thinking I'm going to use the turn to use the rocket here, because um, I kind of need that tank out of the way, so I can move my, my troops. Wonderful. What the hell is going on? And I'm actually going to use my uh, medium tank. Hmm, let's see, this one has a move to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can actually, if I use my um, tank over here, I can use the other tank to attack the anti-air. That's going to take this rocket completely out of the equation, which is actually really nice, because that means I can place my own rocket right here. That's going to give me some nice covering. And I really want to use my uh, superpower before I end this turn. Oh, that was a super flag blow, I think. It does not seem like I'm gonna get the ability to do that. That's really sad. Um, I should kind of take down this recon. It's gonna be very annoying if I don't. Okay. So I'm not gonna get my Winter Fury this turn, which is really sad. Still gonna keep my infantry inside the APCs. We supply the medium tanks a little bit because medium tanks are actually only have 50 fuel and they're max at their maximum, which is a problematic. But that kind of sucks. I really hoped I would have gotten the Winter Fury, but that didn't happen. So you know, it sucks. Can't really do anything about it. At least I have uh, Andy's bomber still. But I'm kind of hoping to use that to um, 
kind of need to use it right here to do this. Okay, so I should kind of start to open up this thing. I can't really touch this artillery right here, so I'm just gonna be content with taking down his infantry. I'm just gonna resupply my air units as best as I can. I'll send the turn. Really sad that I didn't get the Winter Fury and that would have helped so much. I'm I'm hoping I won't lose my APC. My, your infantry is very valuable on this map, so you should not lose it. And of course, I'm gonna lose here on the south front. There's really nothing I can do about that. Okay. Oh! Oh, balls! I didn't. I didn't think about that. Ooh, that's that's bad. Of course, he has missiles there. All right, so you're an idiot. Uh, okay, that's bad. I lost the bomber there. And now I'm gonna lose everything down here. And the problem with bombers is that they can actually take out anti-air pretty decently. Um, if they get the first strike. Which they do get here, which is annoying, to say the least. Because I didn't get my Winter Fury. I, had I got my Winter Fury up, that would have been a huge difference right here. Because bombers need to be on full health if they, if they plan to take down anti-air. And if they, that that two extra H, uh, HP loss would have done wonders for me right there. So, luckily, he's cluster fucking his units pretty heavily, so he's not going to get a lot of benefit from them. So I'm going to be able to do a lot of damage to him next turn. That's probably the, the, the computer doesn't do well with cluster fucks. It doesn't really know how to properly attack. It's very it's a tricky thing to do as a human as well because you need to make sure to you break through the wall. And try to do as much damage as you possibly can. It's very important, so we need to think properly ahead, and the AI just can't handle that properly. Anyway, we finally got our Winter Fury. That's going to help out a lot. On maps like this, pre-deployed maps with a lot of units already deployed, Olaf is so good. Drake would have been even better. Sadly, the snow kind of fucks things up with Andy, but, uh, you know, there's really nothing we can do about that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try my best. I really want to take down this anti-air. Hmm. First of all, I'm going to take down this bomber. And I want to keep my... Um, actually, I, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to produce a battle copter. So, I definitely want to go for his neotanks, because they're the biggest cop block. Although I need to kind of deal with this rockets and stuff. I uh, also sh think I should be able to shoot down a bomber. Yeah, I will. That's good. Now the question is... I don't think I'll be able to attack with all my units here. So I'm actually tempted to use the anti right here to break through the seam. And... Uh, my small tanks pro aren't probably going to do that much. So... Can I take down this thing? Nah, I need, I need a medium tank to do this. I might just use my medium tank. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There we go. I wanted to take down that artillery anyway, so... And then Andy will be able to um, get his fire through here and deal with these air units, which is helpful. I probably want to pull my medium tank back for repairs. It's kind of silly to waste it, so... I'm actually going to go do that right now, and uh, our own medium tanks should be able to deal with the near tanks. Medium tanks can deal with near tanks pretty well, as long as they get the first strike. Near tanks aren't that much stronger than medium tanks, considering they're very pricey. There we go. Now I feel like it. I'm feeling like it's a little bit of a waste to use a medium tank to take down a four hit point rocket. Question is, can a normal tank deal with a me neo tank with two hit points left on it? Yes, they can. Wonderful. Which means 
I can use this one to take down this one. This rocket. Leaving my medium tank free. This is how you kind of need to think in a truck hole. You need to make sure that your units get true, no matter the cost. And this is also going to let me take down this tank. Now, I really need to get to the rocket, though. That's the, that's the most important part. And uh, you, you shouldn't really be too aggressive on trying to capture these properties until you've actually cleared out most of the units, which is the most important thing to do. Move the rocket forward. I'm just going to keep my uh, keep resupplying my uh, my medium tanks and stuff like that. Keeping my infantry inside. Capping these cities just to get, you know, something to... You should always try to pull back units and repair them, even though you only have 12 days left. Alright. So, uh, now, he still has his missile, though. And we can't really move well because of the snow. We'll do our best. And my ear is itching badly. There we go. Man, I really love this new microphone. It's like has a windshield on it, so it doesn't matter if I breathe into it. I'm really enjoying that. Okay, I need to, make, need to be careful about his missiles, though. But here comes Andy's fighter. He's gonna be able to help out with these air units. I'm actually considering keeping Andy's battlecopter here. I oh crap! Bloody hell! His missiles and actually I'm gonna hope he decides to shoot down my battlecopter instead. The computer might be stupid like that. And Flax can use his superpower in the snow, which is always helpful. Although he might get a couple of nasty hits against me right here, and uh, so this could be problematic. Yeah, this could be bad. He has his rockets now, which might just very well take down my medium tanks. Well, luckily that was not a super flak blow. And he actually decides to shoot down at his battlecopters, which is amazing. I like that. And he's actually combining his bombers too, which I like. Okay, please be unlucky, unlucky. Yeah, I think that was an unlucky blow. It's actually wonderful, so my medium tank is not going to survive, unless he gets another really unlucky blow. Nope. Nope. Our luck ran out. That's a medium tank gone, which is terrible, because... And he fucks up his units again with the clusterfuck. Um, it's stupid. Really, really enjoys it with flak stupid like that. And those troops are not gonna ever reach us, I think. They have to go through the woods in the snow. That really spells disaster. Okay, so we still have our rocket right here, which is really helping. Mm, I'm actually considering shooting this thing down. I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, first of all, you should always attack with your indirect units first. If I attack with this... Um, mm, I do believe the medium tank is going to be able to take down this anti-air, so... I'm actually going to attack with that first. And then... And then... If I attack this missile with my artillery, I think I should be able to break through it with another medium tank. We'll see. I think I think so, at least. Um, although this medium tank is... Nah, I can use this one. And that's going to be enough, because the medium tank deals 72% damage to the missile on the city. I could have tested it. I could have checked that myself before doing it, but I was pretty sure I was going to do it. Because I played in for so long, so I kind of started to memorize how much damage the different units do to each other. I really like the fact that he combined his bomber, because that means I can take it down. The computer does stupid things like this all the time. And uh, now we can also take down this battlecopter. I might actually just finish off the battlecopter with the mech. And then I might build a bomber once I can afford it. Ah. Okay. Um, if I attack this tank right here with my rocket, I should be able to kill the tank with my regular tank, and that should allow one of my other units to get through and maybe deal with the neo tank. I still have a medium. I still have a medium tank ready to go, and I'm not sure if nine hit point medium tank can kill a three hit point neo tank in the city, considering it also has the ten percent defense bonus from Flax Power. But we could try. No, we're good. 32% damage. That's gonna open up. Sadly, we won't be able to reach the rocket because we're not at her. Uh, we've captured the two cities now, so we're, we're, we're good on cities. I'm just gonna pull back now. Um, 
not sure if I'm going to use my tanks right here. I'm tempted to. I think I might do that. You always want to tank first. Though those tanks might be damaged now because they... Um, they might, they, they're probably going to get killed, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Taking down this anti-air, not really any point to it, because I don't really have any areas here, but you need to take them out anyway, because you need to clear the path, so... Still going to keep my units inside the... I still have 11 days left to capture all these cities, so we should be good. But I need to start capturing soon. I need probably just to need to capture next turn, or the turn after that, if I want to be able to do it. I'm going to use approximately... There are actually eight properties to camp, so I should really get start doing it right now. Um, I might have waited too long. There are eight properties to camp here and only 11 days to do it. That's That might be problematic, actually. Um, we'll see. Now Andy actually has a superpower, and I'm actually tempted to use it right here because... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go do that right now. Not because of the uh, not because of the hit point restore, but because of the extra firepower and extra movement I get from it. It's gonna be helpful. And I repaired my battlecopter, you know, now it's always, always, always helpful. So I'm actually gonna take down this I hope I'm gonna be able to take down the missile. Nah, uh, maybe with the assistance of the battlecopter? Yeah, I will. And that's actually going to allow me to hit that uh, rocket in the flank. In the flank. In the flank. <laughs> Flanks. Flank. 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 You get it? Flank. Yeah. And because of the added movement boost, I'm actually going to be able to get to reach to the rockets. So, uh, like this. I would actually have gotten it regardless of the movement boost, but it's always nice to get the extra firepower at least. And uh, this artillery isn't really doing much, so I'm just going to ignore it. There we go. I'm just going to resupply my aircraft. It's always good, always a good thing to do. And this fighter isn't really... You know, <laughs> I could actually use this fighter to do this. Just to block his troops. Um, he doesn't have any anti-air hairs. So that means those troops are just useless at this point. So, I like that. What you gonna do, Flack? Hmm? What you gonna do? But I seriously need to start capturing, and I need to start capturing now. So. I knew I was gonna lose that tank, it doesn't really matter. I still have my medium tanks, so. Oh no! Don't take down my mech! Actually, you can keep that mech alive if you just move it back. I don't really know why I did that, but I really wanted to capture the airport, which is kind of silly. I That airport doesn't really give you much. But uh, at least it's kind of fun. You can, you can produce some bombers with it, but you don't really need any more troops at this point. As you can see, I've completely cock-blocked uh, Max units, and he's still building infantry because the AI is stupid. And uh, now I can actually kill this thing, I think. I don't want to use my small power, it doesn't really matter, unless I can use the Winter Fury. That's really the only power I want to use right now. Not sure if I'm going to get it, uh, but it doesn't really matter at this point because I've kind of won. But it's nice, I guess. Now I can uh, get through to this rocket and kind of wipe out the rest of Flax forces right here. And then we just need to start capturing and we're good. Now what I could do is actually, I could send my, uh, actually the anti-air should suffice to take down this rockets. I could, I could be unlucky right here, but no, it's okay. And now I can unload my, uh, my slow max here on the southern cities. Now we'll see if I can't take, um, I should be able to take these, th these things down actually. I have two medium tanks here. I just need to pull back a little bit. Then I can do this. I have another anti-air, which I can use to take down this three hit points anti-air, which will uh, which will leave room for my tank to get through, like so. Glitchy glitch again, like so. Wonderful. And 
then we can do this. I don't really need this medium tank for anything, come to think of it. Um, I guess I can just take this thing down now. Right now, there's really no point in trying to take down flex troops other than to get a higher power score, so... I guess I could send a, a battlecopter to take down these rockets, because that rocket can actually be a little bit annoying when I try to camp. And, uh, what to do with Andy right now? I guess just take down the remainder of Black's troops. Like this. I wish you could uh, resupply uh, other people with your APCs, like your other allies with, um... Like, friendly APCs should be able to, to resupply other teams. That would have been a kind of nice synergy. So, I guess I'm not gonna do anything with these Battlecopters. Fuck. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh, that's bad. I didn't realize I was in range of that. Ar oh, I'm so stupid. I could have just taken down the artillery with my fucking battlecopters. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter. I think I still have enough infantry to do this. But, oh, that's annoying. Holy shit. Mm, day seven so soon. If 50 days passes, we lose. We must hurry and capture those eight properties. Yes, yes, Olaf. I know. Yeah, that was kind of stupid of me. Um, I should have just attacked them, really. But uh, at least we don't need to do... We don't really need to do much anything, really. I just want to take down this thing. So that it doesn't interfere with our capping. There we go. And I actually got my Winter Fury now. Why not use it? Why not? Winter Fury! My god, it's such a good power. It's such a good power. And I might as well actually get... Uh, nah, I think we're good. But now I'm actually gonna go and take down that artillery. There we go. <laughs> what you gonna do, Flack? <laughs> the computer was actually thinking pretty heavily there. Kind of funny. Alright. Let's keep capping, shall we? There we go. Cappy, cappy. Cappy, cappy. And cappy, cappy. Yes. I think that's it. I might as well send my rockets. Yeah, I could always engage Flack's troops a little bit, I guess. Get some extra power score. Might as well finish off this rocket so it doesn't do anything nasty. Might get a flak attack on my infantry. That would be nice. There we go. And, uh, yeah, let's just end the turn. Need to finish off this artillery, though. There we go. This bomber needs some ammo! And fuel, it would appear. Oh no! Black superpower! Whatever shall we do? I don't understand why he doesn't uh, build artillery and tries to break up the pipe. It's really weird. Actually, the infantry is coming out over the mountain. <laughs> the infantry is coming over the mountain as they go. Do 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 mountain as they go. Ba da 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 mountain. Do 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 mountain. Do 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 mountain as they go. Or however that song goes. You know what? I'm gonna be badass and I'm gonna try to blow up. Actually, I should I should not do that. That's going to that's going to to cause Flack to move towards uh, my troops and that actually would be kind of terrible. So. Let's not do that, shall we? Let's just capture these properties. Let's be smart. He actually decided to build a rocket. That might actually attack the pipe seam. If he's smart. He might he might start doing that, actually. I'm not sure how the computer thinks. Uh, 
We'll see what he does. He might decide to start attacking it. Oh, of course, he's gonna start attacking my tanks. Well, I don't really care. Those tanks have kind of served their purpose, so... But I don't want to get a penalty to my technique score. And I'm gonna build a bomber just for lols. There we go. I'm gonna actually do this. And, uh, two more turns of capture and we should be fine. And again, he's not attacking the pipe seams. I wonder why. Maybe it's like, yeah, blah, it was not like Black Hole would attack their own pipes, right? But I'm not really sure why the computer, the computer always seems to, uh, seems to attack the seams whenever it can. So I don't really know why he's doing this. Anyway, we should be able to win next turn. Ah, he's gonna attack my medium tanks again. <laughs> I didn't notice he moved his rockets. Oh well. And victory! Blast it! Who could have launched this missile? Who would have blown them all to bits? Yes, we've captured them all! That neutralizes the missile silo! Woohoo! We won! Right, we did it. Of course, I could have done it myself. What are your plans now, Welp? If you like, I will let you to continue to battle here in Blue Moon. I'm gonna head back to Orange Star for now. Hmm? You're leaving already? I'll be back as soon as everyone is home is ready to go. Oh, is that so? Well then, see you again. No wait, there's no need for you to come again. Mission complete. Oh, Ola, always so proud. We still got a fucking S rank though, even though we fucked up at the end there. I won, that is, we won. Yay! Flack is disappoint. And now, there's only one mission left in Blue Moon before we get to the Flak Tree. It's going to be a grid mission, although I think we'll be doing a Yellow Comet mission next time around. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and as always, I'll see you next time.